Now it says we're live. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. So if you are joining us this morning, friends and followers of Facebook land, we are getting over a couple hurdles with the technical world this morning and we finally are live. So thank you all so much for joining us. And my wonderful guest here, Miss Hannah, she is from Selenese and she is the HR manager there. And we are going to have a little conversation this morning about some of the roles that they are hiring for. Uh, but before we do, since we did have some technical difficulties, if you guys could just let us know that you can see and hear us and we will get started. I can't wait to see this after it goes live, the whole introduction to what we just did. Right. <laughs> it was on there. Yes. Oh, you got to love it. All right, Garrett and Elizabeth, good morning. Thank you guys for tuning in. Elizabeth says hello, Hannah. Hi. Doesn't she look so pretty today, guys? I was like, oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> I dressed up for you all. <laughs> I try to, too, on Thursday mornings. <laughs> the other days, not so much. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so we are going to get started since you guys can see and hear us. And what we're going to do, if you guys have never joined us, um, I'll introduce myself and my guest here. We will do a little conversation um, about Selenese, and then we will have a question and answer session at the end. So if you have um, any questions as we go along in this video, please let us know. Put them in the comments section, and we will get to those at the end. All right, so for those of you that have never joined a live before, I am the host. I'm Haley Franklin, and I am a youth talent development specialist at the Kentucky Career Center. I'm honored to speak with employers every week and just bring them on and learn more about their company. It's been an amazing ride um, since the whole COVID thing started. We thought this would be a great opportunity to meet virtually, and now it's just taken off, and you guys have tuned in every week, and we appreciate you. And now, drum roll please, we have Miss Hannah Rice here. She is the HR manager at Selenese, and she is going to kick us off and give us a little brief overview of her company. And we're excited. Yeah. Thanks for joining Thank us, you. Hannah. Thank you, Haley. Very happy to be here. This is a new platform for us. Definitely, like you said, with COVID, um, having to do things very differently. Um, so we are actually doing in-person interviews now. There was a point in time that we were, but we are doing in-person interviews now. We're hurt. Um, hiring for production operator positions here at Selenese. Um, so Selenese is based out of Dallas, Texas. We're a global Fortune 500 company um, making a very highly engineered plastic pellet here at the plant in Florence. Um, so those pellets get sold to molders, um, and then it ends up in a bunch of different end-use products. Automotive is one of our number one customers, so a lot of products that go under the hood and the console of the car, uh, medical devices as well as a big customer. So obviously quality is very important when we're talking about hip replacements and knee replacements. Um, so we're not making plastic bottles here. We're making a very expensive, um, highly engineered plastic. Absolutely. Thank you for that overview. Um, I think it's awesome. You guys are a Fortune 500 company. It's amazing. It looks like your audio is not matching the video now. Is anybody yeah. else seeing that out there? <laughs> Great. <laughs> How about now? I think now is better. Let us know, guys, okay? All right. So thanks for that overview, Hannah. Um, and then tell me just a little bit about the positions that you're currently hiring for. Sure. So the production operator position is um, what we're focusing on right now. Um, we are experiencing a lot of experiencing a lot of growth. Obviously, our volume is coming back from COVID, and in addition to that, we're bringing more lines to our facility here in Florence. Um, we're going through a really big expansion period, so we need more people. Um, so the production operator position is a night position, night shift position. We uh, we do run twenty four seven. Um, so this position is a night position. It's a twelve hour shift, so it's five a.m. to five p.m. Um, so we do on-the-job training. We do extrusion here. We don't expect that everyone's going to have necessarily extrusion experience. So we do train folks on the job. We don't require that you have um, necessarily 
production experience. We're going to train you on that, but we are looking for people who um, have some mechanical aptitude, like to work with their hands, like to problem solve, um, and have been familiar with, um, you know, some sort of manufacturing um, environment would be good. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so if you guys are taking notes out there, it is eighteen eighty one an hour per hour with a dollar twenty five shift differential and then a seven hundred and fifty dollar bonus sign on bonus. So it's amazing. Yep. Absolutely. So we start at eighteen eighty one an hour, like you said, the dollar twenty five shift differential while you're on nights. And then our top out rate goes to twenty six sixty one plus the dollar twenty five shift differential when you're on nights. So as you learn different areas of the production floor, you earn progression. So as you learn, you earn. So benefits is both. Wonderful. As you learn, you earn. I like that. <laughs> um, I think you're frozen again. Do you look frozen on your side, Hannah? Uh, you look frozen, yes. We're I look frozen. frozen. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, let us know out there, guys, Elizabeth or Garrett, if you guys are still watching, let us know if it looks glitchy and if we can do something to fix it. If not, if it looks good on your end, then we'll keep rolling. It, you're back now. Am I back? Mm -hmm. You're back too. Awesome. Okay, good. My connection is good here. How about you? Seems to be good, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so we've gone over the pay rate and the positions that you're hiring for. Um, Hannah, tell me a couple special requirements that you're asking of applicants outside of the qualification requirements. Sure, so um, as I said, it's a 12 hour shift, so you're gonna be um, on feet, right, for those 12 hours. The environment is a hot, dusty, dirty environment. It's not climate controlled, so definitely need to know that when it's 90 degrees outside here in the Ohio Valley and you're working next to an extruder that's putting off four to 600 degrees of heat, it's going to be a very hot environment. So, you know, being able to acclimate to that is important. Uh, you are required to be able to lift 55 pounds um, floor to chest. There's going to be frequent walking, standing, reaching, um, working at elevated heights. Um, is also going to be a requirement as well, um, and also confined spaces. Uh, there is PPE that you're required to wear, which we do provide all the PPE. So it's going to be hard hats, steel toe boots, uh, glasses, earplugs, um, and then gloves, depending on the job you're doing. Thank you for adding that in. Um, we didn't talk about PPE yesterday, so I appreciate yeah. that you um, added that in for us. All righty, we talked about special requirements and now the most important thing that we will get out of this conversation is how they can apply. So tell sure. us how they can apply, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can go to our careers website. It's www.celanese.com backslash careers. Um, and you can look for the production operator position in Florence and you can apply there. Um, so you'll upload a resume. It's a quick application process. Um, you'll get screened. And then um, we have opportunities, like I said, to tour the facility and do on-site interviews. Wonderful. All right. So we will keep that um, scrolling at the bottom of the screen if you guys want to write that down. And we will also put it into the comment section. So it'll be a clickable link for you guys as well. Great. All right, um, and then they're also on Indeed, Monster, and Career Builder, and all of those sites too. Sure, sure, yep. Okay, so this is my favorite question that I ask employers. Um, what is it like a day in the life of an employee like at Selenese for the roles that you're hiring for? Give us a little okay. insight. Okay, so for this production operator position, um, there is, when you first join, you'll train on days for the first week. So there is some in-classroom training. We want to get you acclimated to our culture, have you understand our process and procedures, um, our policies, that sort of thing, let you meet the team, answer what questions you have. So the first week is going to be on days and you get to, you know, um, see what it's like, you know, being a new employee at Selenies. From there, you're assigned to your night shift. Um, so you will, you'll start on your shift. You'll have a 
toolbox meeting before the shift starts, so you need to get there 15 minutes early, um, and they'll go over your line assignment, what the objectives are for the night, safety goals, things to be aware of, that sort of thing. We'll stretch and get ready to go, um, and then you'll go out to, to the line. You'll do a, a shift handoff with the previous operator, so they'll talk about where what state the line is currently in, what your goals are for the night, things you might need to know, you know, if there's been any issues going on, things like that. Um, so they have a conversation where they're handing off um, for shift. And then from there, um, obviously, you know, when you first join, you're going to be working with someone. So they'll pair you up with someone. So you're working side by side and, you know, they'll show you the ropes and show you how it works. That's great. And I know yesterday you mentioned training, um, which we'll get into a little bit later, but you guys do train uh, for the mm -hmm. job. Absolutely. So that's yeah. great. Absolutely. Wonderful. It sounds awesome. And if you'd like to be on your feet and you're very, you know, active, um, a lot of people come to us and say, you know, I don't want to sit still. I want to be active and I want to be up on my feet and do something uh, that will keep me active. So this is the job for you if that is something that fits your skill set. Definitely. All right. Um, let's talk about qualification requirements. Okay. So um, we we don't have a high school diploma um, requirement. You don't have to have one. However, we do require that you do get that um, high school diploma or equivalent GED equivalent within the first six months of joining. So we have relaxed that. Um, zero to five years experience. Like I said, we don't require this. You have production experience. We will be looking for some sort of transferable skills. So um, if you you know, worked on a farm and been around machinery there, if you've worked on cars, if you've done some remodeling, things like that where you have, you know, some experience um, that relates where you've worked with your hands, where you're good with tools, where you've done problem, problem solving in that way um, would be desirable as well. Um, good communication skills are necessary. Um, and, you know, like I said, mechanically sound and mathematically sound as well. Wonderful. Thank you for that overview. Um, we talked about not needing a high school diploma. You said that has changed from prior. Um, they do want you to get to that equivalent within the first six months of hire. Um, right. And then, of course, the pre-employment requirements, background check, drug screen, physical, things like that. If you guys are taking notes out there, we can always um, get with you if you have more questions on that. We can follow up and let you know. Mm -hmm. All right, so we talked about compensation. Now, this will be the last uh, question that Hannah and I will have together. And then I think we're both fast talkers. So this has gone by pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> but if you guys have questions, um, please feel free to put those in the comment section below. And we will get to your question at the end of our conversation here. So our final one together is um, just tell me a little bit more about the benefits and resources that you guys hire, which really is a laundry list of things. Right. So obviously um, the pay rate is very competitive. We also have a very competitive benefits package as well. Benefits do start day one, which is great for a lot of people, right? Just coming in that, that you can pick up benefits um, day one. So we offer obviously medical dental vision that's through United Healthcare. We have a ton of different supplementary um, things that you can add on there. You know, renter's insurance, we offer AFLAC to everyone. We pay for um, long-term disability, short-term disability. We give everyone a life insurance policy. And you can up those and change those as you wish. Um, and um, the prices are very low for those. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is the 401k package that we offer. So we do match up to 6%. Um, and we also, in addition to that, give a 5% retirement contribution at the end of the year. So if you're still employed with us January 31st, um, or I'm sorry, December 31st. And in January, we will deposit 5% of your base pay for that previous year. We'll deposit that into an annual contribution to your 401k. So you'll get your 6%, our 6%, and then another 5%. So that adds up quick. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love, love, love it. So let's talk about the different groups that you guys have there. I think that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, so being a global Fortune 500 company, um, we've got lots of opportunity to move around based on, you know, um, what your future goals are, what your interests are. Here at the Florence 
plant. We are the North American headquarters for our division, which is engineer materials. So not only do we have a production facility here, we also have our technology and innovation group, which has all kinds of different laboratories. We have new product development. We have physical testing. Um, we have there, there's a ton of different labs down there, and they're way beyond um, my skill level. We've got scientists, we've got engineers, um, all of that good stuff. We also have scheduling here. We've got logistics. Um, we've got a sales team as well, and we've definitely had lots of different folks transfer, you know, um, out of production and move into you know other opportunities throughout the company. Yes. Like I said, we are global. We've definitely had people transfer to different plants um, in the U.S. and beyond. Um, so lots of opportunity here to grow. Yes, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say there's so many opportunities there to grow and move up the ladder, which is great. Hannah, mm -hmm. you said you've been there seven years, right? Yeah, I've been here seven years. Mm -hmm. Do you, What do you love about working there? Definitely the people. Definitely the people um, have made some, you know, some great friendships here, some great relationships have really grown my career as well. Um, I think that's important when you come to a place that you, I mean, you got to have a little bit of fun during the day, right? And yes. you got to have some good relationships. So I think that's really important. You know, we change a lot, which is good because um, we're always learning and growing. It's a very collaborative culture. Um, so, you know, if you thrive in something like that where, you know, change is happening, you know, you're learning, you're improving, you're growing, then you'll definitely do well here. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Well, our conversation, the questions that I have to ask have come to an end, but that okay. means that the viewers now get a chance to ask questions, which okay. is one of my favorite parts. Um, we will pick out one here and don't forget guys, if you're tuning in, go ahead and put that question in the comments box and we'll um, pick it out and post it up. Uh, we do have a question here from Garrett Griffith. He is with the Kentucky Career Center. Okay. He is asking, how often are you eligible for raises? Also, are they rotating shifts? He said he may have missed that. Okay. No, they are not rotating shifts. They're static shifts. Um, we did used to rotate years ago. Uh, we don't do that anymore. So it is a static shift. It is a static day shift and a static night shift. Um, and we are hiring for night shift positions. Um, the pay raises, um, how often are you eligible for pay raises? That depends on the person, right? According to how quickly you learn, how quickly you catch on. Obviously, we want you, the more you learn, it's you know beneficial for everyone. Um, to actually reach our top out rate, that's going to take so that's going to take a couple years, two to three years, to actually get to that top rate um, as you're moving around the different areas of the floor. The first progression does come pretty quickly, so you should see that at least within the first six months or so that you're getting that first progression. Um, so it really does depend on the person, obviously business need as well, but um, you know, as quick as the person can learn and pick it up, you know, it's dependent on them and, and you know, how much they want to grow and how quickly they want to do so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Garrett also commented and said, also, please tell Hannah I'm very sorry for butchering Selene's name on Tuesday. It's okay, Garrett. I did the same thing yesterday. <laughs> we'll allow it. It's okay. I know. When I first joined, I was like, I've never heard of this company. I didn't know how to how to pronounce it either, so no worries. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. It's a for German name. So it's a, we were originally oh. um, from Germany. Um, obviously, a U.S.-based company now based out of Dallas, but that's where that came from. It was German. Okay. Well, that makes yep. sense. Yeah. Thanks for cutting us some slack on that one. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, Garrett, I hope that that answered your questions. Um, he's the host of our Tuesday morning okay. um, Facebook Live, so he probably announced it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, if there are no more questions, um, we will continue to keep an eye on these comments as the video okay. has published and continues okay. to get shares and likes and just really some more organic reach. Um, and then as the questions continue, we will go back and answer those as we can. Okay. If I don't know the answer, I'll get with you, Hannah. And um, okay. we really hope to garner some awesome applicants out there for you. Um, this is an amazing company. You guys have amazing opportunities and a laundry list of benefits. So I think it's great. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for having me. Thank um, you. Certainly if any other questions reach out, we'll be glad to answer them. Absolutely. And then, guys, next week, uh, tune in Thursday morning again at 930. And um, we hope to not run into, into any technical issues, but that's the world that we're living in today. So <laughs> thank you so much for working with Thanks. me, Hannah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Everybody have a great day.